And now let's, uh, I'm going to talk about um, how to do your data engineering, your first project, your a data engineering project, how to, how to get into this. Uh, the thing that I hate that I hear all the time is, um, I can't learn this because I don't have a project or uh, how to do this or, or in mind that, uh, that I could do, uh, I don't know which tools, I don't know the exact thing. And I never really understand this uh, because it's it's not it's not that hard. I mean, um, um, it's very easy to to actually find your project and you don't need to go full out and and go over the top. So what I what I want to what I want to bring over or, or, or deliver today is about your data engineering project, or it, it can also be a data science project. And I, I'm going to get back, uh, Bruno. I'm going to uh, go back to my cookbook, and I I know I bring this up all the time, all the time, but um, this blueprint I really like it and. I don't care if people like uh, like it or don't like it. I like it. And the thing is, if you now if you want to do, let's say you you want to start a project, you can. There are three ways to go and and do this. First thing is, you have a let's say on the left side here on the left side. This is a. Is this? <sighs> the screen brush never works. It's a choke uh now okay here it is uh now let's just get it red okay you can work it work from this side here which is basically the source it's where, where some data is uh, you can also go in and uh, uh, start from the other side is let's say, uh, what do you want to achieve? Where's, where's your goal here? Um, so you start from the left side. Hmm, I can, uh, what's an interesting source of, of data that I could use for a, for a project? Um, and what could I do with it? So you're, for instance, you're, um, you want to, you have a, you have a, a book, you have a book. A book in a PDF form or in a text form, uh, yeah, in a text form. And what could you do? So you could, uh, how does it look? And what can you, what can you do with it? And you could, you could count words. You could do natural language stuff, uh, and so on, or analytics uh, regarding what uh, is this? Uh, uh, yeah, sentiment analysis. Is this good? Is this bad? And so on and so on. And so you could work from basically from here to here. Or you, you say, okay, I, I need to, I need a, I need to do a natural language processing. So you go from this side to this side and, and think about, hmm, what's a uh, search for a data set? What is a, what is a good data set? You know, it's, that's also possible. Very, very possible. Uh, you could also um, start from the middle or, or, or from any point here and say, okay, um, I want to do, I want to learn stream processing and I want to learn stream processing with, uh, something like, um, 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 what's the stream processing frame or, uh, let's say I want to start stream processing and I want to do in AWS Lambda functions. Oh, it's too thick. <laughs> uh, uh, where's the thin? Ah, oh, now the color is again red. Okay, so you you can start here. <laughs> What's going on today? And uh, say lambda. Lambda. So you can start with lambda functions, and so yeah, just try and 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 work your way up. Start select some some content and feed it to a lambda function and yeah and then build build up further um um yeah what what i basically uh, 
as an example, I started some time ago, I started, and let me go back to the cookbook, I started this hands-on course. Unfortunately, I never had really had time to, um, I never really had time to finish this. So I started this on YouTube. There are, uh, thanks Amar, by the way, thanks again. Um, thanks for the, super, for the super chat. Um, we, uh, we started this and there are YouTube videos uh, on this. You can search my playlist. I think I have it in the playlist. And what I wanted to do, what I knew is I wanted to do something with Spark, with Nifi and with Kafka. And uh, so I searched for what what's a good source that may be interesting that we can use. And then I was looking into, into Twitter. So Twitter has an API, you can read tweets and so on. And then you can basically build a build a stack so uh, in this case you could start with okay mm, i want to learn apis so start with an api and uh, start with an api and check out how the twitter api works then hmm okay now i need to i need to ingest this somehow um yeah use it to use a buffer um you could use Kafka, you could use uh, RabbitMQ or whatever, um, or yeah, so some, how do you feed this in there? And then um, select a streaming framework, um, do something with Elasticsearch or, or, or a processing framework I meant, or something. And uh, this is, you can build this gradually. And if you say, oh, now I, I done this with Elasticsearch because I have the tweets and I wanted to search them um, by um, I wanted to search search them by tags and so on. Um, I I want to do something else. Then then add batch processing to it. Install a a Spark Docker container and and run and run this also. And you get the idea. Then what you could do is okay. Hmm, how can I move forward? I, could work with a database, maybe a SQL database, start or or put it into a key value store. You search it for a key value store. Hmm, which one could you use? I mean, I'm I'm already here with the stream processing. I'm already on AWS. Use DynamoDB or S3. Store it on S3. And then re visualize it. Hmm, what could you do? There are a lot of options. Could use a BI tool to to query this to to read uh, S3 files and and work with it. You could also install a like a, a UI. Um, Grafana is very very much used. And let's just let's just use Grafana. Install Grafana here. And so you basically you you start and you collect the you connect the things here. Why did the, did the color change? And and so on. I mean, yeah. And then, or for the, from the stream processing that you feed this into in the SQL database warehouse, and so on, or or, or create another API on uh, and and uh, have the API connect to your SQL database where you store some data it's the, the the things are the the combinations are endless you only need to yeah need to find out uh, which direction or or, or yeah, which tools are you interested research a bit what's what's what are the tools doing and um, what are they used for and th this is also where, what i'm trying to add in the cookbook to add more information of the options that you have in each of these um each of these sections and so you can build the whole thing the other way around you have let's say you you are a data scientist um maybe i screenshot this thing uh, can i screenshot this uh, uh, <laughs> ah, no i'm fighting ah, doesn't work um <laughs> okay. Um the the other way would be um you have you're a data scientist 
and you know you want to do some some uh, some analytics so you can uh find a find a source and do the processing and then you can build build on top of that start basically with a file use the processing do the file then you say oh, okay now i'm i'm basically i'm i'm offline here i'm i'm having here i'm having analytics let's say you have a batch job and you have a file here um file you have a file and uh, here you have some machine learning and so these two are connected right now directly you're reading a file hmm okay how could i now this is hmm, I, I can i can train this and i can do this how could i automate this so what you could do is okay i want to i want to use stream processing here then the thing is uh okay you you would learn how to write a stream processing job um you have the file you have still the file so what you would do is you write a for instance a, a python you write a, a python job that is taking the file and inserts the rows into a message queue oh it's hard because i don't have the pen uh, and you feed the rows into the message queue and then you uh, feed it into the stream processing and then you're creating the, the stuff uh, or feeding it to a uh, feeding it to a sql database here and you use uh, a dashboard you get the idea oh <laughs> uh yeah so as you can see the the options are endless and th this is this is why i don't understand that when people say i would i would i would love to get into this but uh i don't know what to do i don't have a project i don't ha i don't have a, a a fully formed thing that i that i uh, want to do uh you don't need to start with a with a full let's say a full pipeline I'll start with a small thing and then Try to figure out where to go next. This is this was what what I what I initially had intended for the uh, for this thing here. So I was I was uh, going to start uh, first read stuff from the Twitter API with NiFi, then write it into Kafka, and then analyze it first. I, I would uh, would install Zeppelin and work and read from Zeppelin. Then I would install a Spark uh, a Spark Docker container and read from Kafka into Spark, and then from Spark, for instance, into Kafka back, and so on. Um, now, I could have also said, and I was interested in that, uh, let's forget about Spark. Spark is, mm, I, I've, I've, I've been working with Spark, and uh, if you say, I don't, I, I don't really like Spark, I'm more interested in, in Elasticsearch, because I can search, and so on. And so, what you would do is leave this this part. Uh, you keep the part with the APIs with NiFi with Kafka, and you just you X out uh, Spark and you insert uh, Elasticsearch, and then you can already go on and so on. And so it's it's super simple and it's absolutely modular, and you don't need to have everything set up um, from the beginning. You you go through it and you 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 find your way baby steps. You know, baby steps, and yeah, the but again the the absolutely um, the absolutely important thing here the the top important thing is it doesn't matter what you do if you do this you need to document it this is the most important thing you don't need to do YouTube videos like I do. Um, do a article and and create articles every every time you you do something you're learning something so document what you learn document your code document how far you come and so on and so on go with what where this is going to lead, uh, lead you somewhere 
you don't might know it, uh, not know it, uh, you might not know it today, but through on the way through this thing here, uh, through this stuff here, you're going to find it. Um, I just, uh, I I think this is yeah this is important uh, and or logical I would say so don't come to me with with any excuses and say I, I don't have a project to work on there are a thousand things and one of the simplest thing is is just just download a file from somewhere download something and I, it doesn't matter what it is um, it, 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 it yeah if when you search for for something that you're interested in uh, it doesn't matter what you need to be interested in and you where you can think mm, maybe I can do some some interesting or find out some interesting things download a file analyze it or process it and build 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 on top of it yeah.